Well, hello everyone, and welcome to the Daily Creative Challenge. My name is Andrew Hawkrottle, and it looks a little bit different from anything you've ever seen before, because that's right, I'm getting in the holiday spirit. I know it's early, I know it's early, but if you're watching the creative replays, you're in the middle of our Adobe holiday special, so you are used to this by now. If you're watching it live, Hello, we're getting into the holidays, uh, and we are going to be hanging out and learning about how to use layers uh, with some holiday assets today. So if you're just joining us for the first time, hello, my name is Andrew Hawkrottle. Uh, you can follow me online at just hawk.co, H-O-C-H-D-O-T-C-O on any social media, including here on Behance. Um, and you can also join our daily creative challenges by going to behance.net slash challenge slash illustrator. Uh, that's the place to be, and that's where we are all hanging out. You can scroll down to grab your source files, which is very important for today. Um, so we're gonna scroll down this page, and you can see right there, organized layers. That'll be source files. There's some super fun holiday stuff in there for you that we will work on today. Uh, the other thing that I want you to know about is our Discord. So go to our Discord right now. Here's a link. I'll leave that link up there for a second. And what I want you to do is in our Discord, you can go ahead and come down here and scroll all the way down on the side and join the Hangout and Feedback channel. This is a voice channel, it's a stage. I'm actually in there with my mic muted. And in the last 10 minutes of this stream, we will be taking your questions live. They can be questions about the pen tool, about colors, about layers, about anything that you want. We'll bring you on live to ask your question and I'll be able to answer that question and cater to what you want to know. So if there's something you've always wanted to know in Illustrator, write it down right now. In the last 10 minutes, jump to Discord at that link over there um, and you'll be able to ask your question right there. Uh, all right, so let's go ahead and jump back to our holiday wonderland. I'm gonna bring my mic down just a little bit because we are real loud today. And we are going to jump in to our lesson. So I'm sorry, holidays. We need to make those holidays go away. Ah, uh, peek behind the curtain and suddenly, boom, we're over here. All right, we are uh, now a floating head as we want to be. Uh, and again, you can join our Discord right there. Let's go ahead and hop into Adobe Illustrator and talk about our challenge today, and that is working with layers. Layers are a great way to keep things organized. I know in Illustrator it's tempting to just get super chaotic because it's actually really great to work chaotically in Illustrator. Um, the way that it works is just super helpful. Um, it's, it's easy to work chaotically, but if you wanna work with layers, it makes everything better. I promise it, it's a little extra work, but it makes everything better in the long run. So let's zoom in here and read our brief for the day. Today we are going to learn the basics of using layers in Adobe Illustrator, including how to edit, uh, how to create, edit, and organize content, then use these new skills to create a holiday greeting card. Yay, holidays. All right, so let's go ahead and jump into the holiday magic uh, over here. Let's go ahead and grab some of these assets. Now, um, I'm just gonna grab, and I'm just using the selection tool right here to click and drag some of these assets around. Uh, and there seems to be some problems here as I select these, right? Nothing's, nothing's looking right. Everything's kind of overlapping in a wrong way. Now, what we could do is we could click and we could use some of the arrange tools and we could right click and go to arrange and then bring to front but for some reason that's not working, right? And the problem here is that this file is set up in layers and layers are very different from arranging things. So let's say that we have two circles that I'm just going to make here. I'm actually gonna make squares and we have two squares. We'll make them different colors. So here you can see that both of these squares are outlined in blue. So that's really important because the outline means that it is on the same layer. Now the order is very different than the layer. On each layer, there is an order. So we are going to right click this red box and we're going to go to transform, I'm oh, sorry, we're gonna to go to arrange and send to back, boom. Now you can see it is behind that blue one, but they're still on the same layer. So if I click on this snowflake, it has a red outline. That means it's on a different layer. And if I bring it over here, regardless of where it goes, it will always be behind this blue layer. So let's move that back. Let's undo everything that we've done. And I'll zoom out and we are going to open up the layers panel, the important thing that we want today. It's over here in the right at the bottom. And I'm just gonna click and drag this out so that we have it kind of floating with us today. 
Now, the most important thing about working with layers is yes, naming your layers. We did it. We named our layers. They are here um, and it is a great way to start working with your files. So here you can see a bunch of different layers are outlined here. Now, if we want to, we actually don't have these colors on a layer, right? They're kind of just on the design assets and we don't want that. We want them on their own layer. So the way that we're going to create a new layer is to click and drag using the selection tool click and drag all the shapes that we want. Right now they are on the design assets layer, but we want a color layer. So we're gonna click on create new layer, right there. So we have a new layer and let's go ahead and name this. We're gonna double click to name it and just name it colors. Looks great. And from there, we're gonna come over here and right click, arrange and send to current layer. Now this only works if we have the layer selected. So you can see the layer colors is selected. We're going to right click, arrange, send to current layer and watch what happens. That blue outline just turned gray. So now you can see that it is on its own layer. And the great thing about layers is maybe we don't want all this noise here, right? There's so much going on. We can turn these layers on and off. If we just wanna focus on one thing at a time, uh, maybe we just want to have none of the design assets and we can just work on our card, which is actually how we're gonna work today, why not? So we're gonna have that there. If we wanna lock something in, let's say the background right here, we're simply gonna click right there on the second box in and it will lock that background for us so that you can't move it around. So now when I come in here, I can't do anything with this background, which is what we want. We're gonna keep that background right there and why not? Let's lock the colors. We're not gonna move those at all either. Now, if you can see here, there is a problem with the type that we have. Uh, I'm gonna click and drag over both of these and you can actually see that I've selected multiple layers here. Uh, the little colors right next to the layers panel are showing what layers you have selected. Now, if I wanna select everything on that layer, I can click on this little circle right here. So clicking on the circle will select everything on that layer and holding shift and clicking on another circle will select everything on the other layer as well. So we're gonna bring this over just using the direct selection tool into the center of our document. Uh, we're going to grab the scale tool and just scale this up because I think it's gonna look really good. And we're gonna move this around to be in the center. All right, so from there, it looks like there's a shadow on top of the actual type um, and we don't want that. So what we're gonna do is we are going to grab these and reorder the layers. So just like we right clicked and changed the uh, changed the order of the layers, we're gonna change the order the order of the elements. We're gonna change the order of the layers. So we're gonna click here and hold down and then drag up. And you can see the type shadow is underneath the type right now. That's not what we want. No, we don't want that. So we're going to click and boom. Now the type is on top of the type shadow that is looking crisp and clean and gorgeous. And that is what we want. Now, maybe we want this accent here as well. I can just click on that little circle and it's gonna bring that accent up for me. Uh, we can align it using the alignment tools at the top to have a nice little uh, top and bottom piece there. There we go, looking kind of fun. And from there, we can play around with kind of creating our snowflake pattern. Now our snowflakes are here on their own layer. And if we wanted to, let's say that we want some snowflakes to be overlapping. So I like those two colors and I want them to kind of overlap like that but maybe I want the gold one to be in front of the blue one. You can actually change that in the layers panel as well. You can click on this little drop down right here. And from there you can see all of the different elements right here that you are using. So if we select this blue one right here, you can see that it is now selected with a little red dot next to it. And again, the outline and the color dot will indicate what is selected. So we can select that one and then we can select the gold one, which is down here. So if you notice the gold one is down below, this blue one is up top. And if we wanna change the order without selecting any objects, we can simply grab this and drag it up here and boom, now it is on top. So you can do that manually Usually it is way more work to do that manually here in the layers panel. It's much easier to just right click and go to arrange and then bring to front or send to back. So we're going to just move those all around. Um, and from here, let's say that we don't like the colors that are on these outlines, right? This blue on blue is a little tough to see, right? All these blues and all these colors are a little bit much. What we can do is with the layer selected, we can go to right here, 
uh, click on this little hamburger menu that we have and go to options for type shadow. And these options are going to allow us to change the color. Look at all these options we have. So let's change it to a very contrasty pink. We're gonna hit okay. And now we have a nice pink outline on that so that we can see the difference and see where all of those points are. For selecting the top type and the bottom, now we have a nice contrast so we can see exactly what is on those layers um, and how to move them around. Now something else that's great is, let's say that we want to work only with the type. Let's say that we have a bunch of other snowflakes flying around on our screen. Uh, this is looking really good here, super fun. And one more, sure, go down there, awesome. So we have all of them here and maybe we have too much going on and we just want to play around with the snowflakes. What we can do is we can select our snowflakes layer and we're going to go right here to that drop down menu and then scroll all the way down and click on hide others. Where did it go? I know it is literally right in my face. Uh, I, I, am I just not seeing it? I swear it was there. Uh, so we can, okay, let's try again. Click here. There we go. And we can, I promise it was there. Anyway, we can turn on and off the layers. Let's do it manually by toggling the visibility right here. Um, we can just click, 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 and turn off all of those different, uh, pieces. We also can hold down at control and it will show the outlines of that layer as well. Um, we also, and thank you, uh, don't you alt click the eyeball? Yes, that is the hotkey right there uh, to turn everything else off. You can alt click. Uh, I thought it was in the menu, but you can alt click on that eyeball and it will turn everything on and off. Now there's a lot of other layers uh, and a lot of other options that we can use. And again, we can select all of those hitting that little circle on the side. And then we can come through all of these different options. Now, one thing that's really important is isolation mode. And isolation mode is going to push everything else to kind of grade out. So you can see everything else gets a little bit lighter so that we can focus on exactly what we're working on. Uh, we can look at just the snowflakes. And if we wanna grab a bunch of things, maybe these at the top, when you're in isolation mode, it's going to show that you can only select and work with the pieces that are on that layer. So if you wanna rotate, grab the rotate tool and rotate them through right there, looking good. And then when we wanna exit, we simply click on the little arrow right here to exit out and now we are out of isolation mode. Now there are a ton of other options that we can play around with. We can flatten the artwork, we can collect two layers into a new layer. So let's do this. Maybe we wanna break out our snowflakes and maybe we want the gold snowflakes to be on their own layer. So with that, we have our snowflakes Selected, we can go here, select, and we can go to collect in new layer. It is going to take those and create the snowflakes into a new layer for us. Um, we also can do layers in layers. We can do clipping masks in this channel um, and all kinds of other very fun options. Uh, so play around with those. I'd love to, there it is, hide others. I found it. I found it. Uh, there we go. It was hiding. Uh, show that it was hiding right there. Show all layers. And then I needed to come in and go to hide others. We found it, y'all. So that is how you work with layers. I would love for you to play around with these options and create something really fun. And once you finish doing those, you are going to go right here, bit.ly slash AI discord, and you are going to drop them in the feedback channel. Uh, let's drop over here, there we go. In the feedback channel for challenge. You can get some really great feedback from some mentors. We can all see what we're creating and how we're using layers. And here's what I'd love you to love to see. I would love to see both the card that you make as well as a screenshot of your layers to show us how you are layering things up. So that would be really, really great. Um, and post your work, we'd love to see it. Uh, and let's stick around because we're about to hop in and do some Discord discussion.